Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Ford Mustang 5 litre V8 and next to me is a BMW E9 Batmobile with a difference. And we're going to have a drag race because I want to find out what happens when you put this new car with old tech against an old car with modern tech side by side in an acceleration test over the standing quarter mile. Anyway, let me tell you about this Ford Mustang. So it uses a five litre naturally aspirated V8 driving the rear wheels via a 10 speed automatic gearbox. Now, normally the Ford Mustang five litre GT has 450 horsepower. This one though has been worked on by Clive Sutton and it now has 490 horsepower. Talks the same as a standard car though. It has 530 Newton meters. So basically Clive Sutton is an American car importer and he does some tuning as well. You can check out the link to his website in the description. And essentially what they've done to this car it's an ECU remap, cold air intake, and a new exhaust to get that extra power. Other than that, yeah, it's just business as usual, apart from a few styling tweaks here and there. Now, this car costs £50,000 for the standard Ford Mustang V8 GT, and the upgrades cost £3,600. As for the weight, this thing tips the scales at 1,740 kilos. Now, let's find out about that rather odd Batmobile from its creator, Richard Morgan from Electric Classic Cars. So, Richard, Tell me about that thing you have built. Yeah, I brought a BMW CSL recreation today. When you say recreation, what exactly do you mean? Because it's not quite a CSL in more ways than one, right? Not to put too fine a point on it, you uh, hit the nail on the head there. This is not a real BMW CSL to all the BMW fanboys out there screaming sacrilege at the screen. The, uh, the sunroof should give it away. This is a BMW CSI that we've recreated as a homage to the BMW Batmobile race car of the 70s. But there's even more to it than that. Something bigger. What is it? I mean, why are you here? I mean, electric classic cars, we know what's going to happen, but you explain it. Go on. <laughs> to give the homage uh, some uh, uh, due credit, because originally it had a three litre straight six engine in it, which is a fantastic engine. But to do it some justice, we've gone full Tesla power in this one. So we've got a Tesla large drive unit in the rear, knocking out around about 450 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, and a full 85 kilowatt hour battery pack out with a Tesla Model S in it. So I have more power and torque than you, but I also have more weight. How much does your car weight? It's around about 1,500, 1,550 kilos. Good 200 kilo lighter. That'd be interesting. And obviously it should launch well being electric because so you've got instant power. Price though, that's not going to be cheap with all the work you've done on it, right? No, nah, it's not a cheap car. It's around about 200k this car but on the launch side of things you've got to bear in mind we've had to dial down the power and torque quite a bit on this car because we can only fit a certain width of tire under the rear arches so although those figures are quite impressive we've probably dialed it back to something closer to around about 300 maybe 350 horsepower so while this car that i'm saying has been tuned up yours has been tuned down Yep, and that's the way it is with electric, right? You start with too much power and then you dial it down a bit. I'll tell you what you never get though, this. Even though there's a soft limiter, I'll still take that. Okay, Richard, seeing as your car doesn't make a noise, you have to make a noise, so choose your noise and make it now for the audience. Well, seeing as I'm sitting in tranquility here listening to the birds, I'll do a bird impression for you. as a, a, a pair of great tits flies overhead. Okay, now before we race, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss one of these cool uploads. Okay, let's do it. Buy, sell, car, wow. Three, two, one. Got me off the line. Keep going, keep going. Oh, he's coming back! Oh! I'm gaining on him now, though. Oh, yeah! Oh! That's how you do it! How do you feel about that, Richard? Are you very pleased? Can't talk now, smiling too much. <laughs> I got you there, mate. But that is not the end of the race. I think we need to do another one. My launch was terrible, terrible, terrible. The car bogged down, it didn't get off the line. Totally blame myself for that. Can I have another go? All I'm hearing there is Wah! So yes, you can have another go before you start crying, Matt. <laughs> I will start crying. I did a very bad job there. Sorry, car. Three, two, one. Oh, wheel spin off the line. No, 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 no. 
He's pulling away! Oh yeah! Ford finished just behind in 12.8 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. I'm in automatic mode for the gearbox. Obviously he's got no gearbox, so let's just do it. And call it in then Richard, you ready? So, three, two, one, go. Come on, kick down. I took ages. See you later. <laughs> It's a race to the half mile. I don't think I'm going to win. I'm just dying to reel him in now. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. That was close, Richard. You mean you just dropped me from the start. Instant response from your electric motor. But then I started gaining on you, but I just run out of room. I'd like to put it down to my cat-like reflexes there, but no, it's the instant talk of the electric motor. I just shot off like a bullet there, mate. Now we're going to do the same thing again. This time, though, I'm going to be in manual mode for the gearbox and in fourth gear. Three, two, one, go. Pickup's great. It's neck and neck at the moment. Oh, he's got me, he's got me. And now I'm just easing ahead. Got to nail these gear shifts though, so he doesn't catch me. Here we are, I'm gonna, oh! Didn't nail the last one, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Do you know what? This picks up really good. The throttle response is epic. It's one of the advantages of natural aspiration. But yeah, you lost, didn't you? Is what I'm basically getting to. You can't look like a loser in a car that looks this good, mate. What do you think of the look of this? Nah, I choose this over that car for looks and performance. <laughs> right, now we have a brake test for 100 miles an hour. If you'd rather watch a drag race with some other American cars, click on the pop-out bar in the top right-hand corner of the screen or follow the link in the description below. Now, Richard has upgraded the brakes on his car, but he hasn't upgraded them with ABS. Yeah, this could be interesting. Here comes the line. Now! <laughs> <laughs> well, compared to Richard's car, this stopped as if it was like hit a wall. His probably would hit a wall because it's just so far ahead. That didn't stop well at all. Richard, I don't only think there's a, a market for upgrading old cars with electric powertrains, but also maybe upgrading old cars with ABS. Yeah, and that's with big brakes on as well, mate. I don't know if you're in a really small car or you're just really far away, but you definitely won that one. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any videos like this and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you'll be alerted when we upload. As ever, I'd like to say a big thanks to Clive Sutton for lending us this car and to Richard for lending us his car. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other matchups you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to Carway to find out how much your car is worth. It's completely free.